Hello everybody, this is Jim over at Legion Wargaming and Hobby. Welcome back to the channel. We are going through our second part of our Let's Play Pokemon Shining Pearl series. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the video yet or not familiar with the channel, we started this series based upon opening eight booster packs. And we are only going to use the Pokemon that we drafted in those booster packs. I'll have a link to that uh, opening video up in the corner here and without further ado we are here in Jubilife City uh, if you guys like what we're doing please like comment and subscribe uh, anything you'd like to see us do in this let's play post it down in the comments you know we're, we're always looking for feedback anything that will better your experience here on the channel and we're gonna jump right into this here we have to meet the trainers in the training area. So we're gonna head over there right now. Always eager to battle. It's going to come in especially useful leveling up some of our starting Pokemon here. We only have two to start with. We have our Turtwig Pokemon, and then luckily we did draft a Starly, so we're going to be using. We're going to be relying heavily on the uh, Starly. She has a lot of type advantages against most of the most of the gym and uh, elite four trainers that we're going to be battling here. So believe it or not, this. Uh, innocuous looking bird that you get pretty much right at the start of the game is, is going to be one of your best options for beating the game. Abra is no slouch. He almost one shot at us. And his special attack rose. That's not good. Alright, let's finish this, this boy off and... Uh, beat his partner to the right of him. What's also interesting is that in this first town we're going to be able to get our first fishing rod. I mean it's the old rod you can only catch magic ops with it but for those of you who aren't playing along with us and restricting yourself to what you draft in packs I'm sure you know that you know, leveling up a magic op will bring you to a pretty power powerful uh, Gyarados. It's one of my favorite Pokemon back in the day on uh, Red and blue. Can't tell you how much rare candy I spent leveling up that guy just so I can get my guy reduced. But uh, being able to get him pretty early on in the game is going to pay off dividends. We can't use him, obviously. Unfortunately, we didn't draft him. So there's not much we're going to get from the old rod right off the bat, but. There's no reason why you can't benefit from it, whether you're playing along or whether you're just trying to capture all the Pokemon that you can capture. Uh, it's good to have it at the start. She has a uh, Abra, yep, another Abra, so. We are looking to get our Pokemon to roughly, say level 13 for the first gym battle. I believe the first gym has 212 Pokemon and one level 14, so we're gonna aim for right in the middle of that. And we don't want to out level any of the gyms and make it super easy. We are looking to uh, add a little bit of a challenge here. We do want to kind of keep our level right around what we're going to be facing with the trainers.
There you go, kid. And the basic type advantages, grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, water is weak to grass. Never be the greatest studying in this room. Alright, so we got our town map. We are going to Ouroboros, where uh, the gym leader there, I believe, is a ground type. So we, we're pretty lucky in that uh, turret wig is going to have type advantage against ground type. Uh, grass Pokemon do pretty well against them and should make it relatively easy for us to beat them. Still want to get some of those levels though, just to, well, obviously we're, we're way under level. It doesn't matter if we have type advantage or not. Being level uh, seven right now, seven and eight, it's gonna have five to four levels uh, more than us. That's not gonna help us at all. So we definitely want to try to level our guys up. Alright. So now we have to grab our Poketech, which I'll watch with all the nice little apps that this, uh, this expansion added to the game. So as you go through the game, you'll be able to unlock different apps. I think the first basic one you get is the ability to tell what time it is, so you're not pouring 8-10 hours into this game when you got work in the morning. We gotta find three clowns. So we already got one up here. So let's get these. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining XP points? Of course it does. Give me that vulture, you silly clown. Alright, there's our coupon one. Let's find this other one. Oh, there's our next one. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Of course. the moves of Pokemon also have types and they do it's actually a, a good distinction if you haven't played the game before you're relatively new to all this you can have certain Pokemon that for example maybe a fire type Pokemon but it has fighting type moves so it might be weak to something that a fighting type Pokemon wouldn't normally be weak to while also being strong against something that a fire type Pokemon wouldn't normally be strong against. So pay close attention to uh, not just the type of your Pokemon, but the type of moves that they have. And there is a Poketech. We'll be using our R button to try it out. see just how many shameful shameful hours I put into this all right so it gives you it's military time which is about 434 right now for me hitting it twice just uh, brings it up and then holding it down will uh, turn it off for you all right so Check the Pokemon, see what we got in here, anything interesting? Nothing new, all right. So let's go get our rod. Head on to, I think, Route 203, which we may actually have some of the Pokemon we drafted available in there. Let's 
203. We want to jump over here first. Oh. There's our fisherman with our first rod. Now, as I said, you have to get the upgraded level rods in order to catch better and better Pokemon, pretty much. The, the old rod is only going to let you catch Magic Up to stop it. There's no reason that uh, you shouldn't capture them, because if you put the work in now to level them, it's going to be a great Pokemon for you. All right. All right, everybody, before we head on over to Route 203, we went up to Route 204 and into the cave up here because we are going to attempt to catch one of our drafted Pokemon, uh, Zubat. We're going to run around in here a little bit. Hope to get a Zubat to kind of give us another member of our team as we're only operating with two right now. Luckily, this is a good preview of what we're going to be going through when we uh, face our first gym trainer. And as you can see, uh, Turtwig's grass-based attack pretty much demolish any ground-based Pokemon. So we're going to have a relatively easy time making our way through that uh, first gym badge. There we go. All right. Got ourselves a Zubat, all right. Well, that's gonna be a third member of our team. Not to mention some levels. Take that. We are gonna swap our Zubat to the first slot so that he can get the lion's share of the XP. And he dislikes sunlight. It sleeps deep in forests and caves until sundown. Pretty standard. Um, if you're looking to catch a Zubat, you can get one in this cave. If not, in route 203 and 204 if you wait until nighttime which will be about eight o'clock you should be able to have a random chance to get a zoo bat in the tall grass in either of those routes so depends on how impatient you are there's also a way you can save the game turn it off go into your settings change the time in your switch and then go back into the game if you want to kind of skip ahead there's no need for that you can just go into a cave and get this zubat so but for other pokemon if, if that's what you want and you're relatively impatient there's always ways around it all right so let's get our zubat in that first spot so the level six is a bit behind the rest of our Pokemon here. And then let's also give him a heal. And get out of this cave and on to Route 203. Alright guys, so now we are heading over to Route 203 in our first battle with our rival.
Now the nice thing about the Zubat, at least to start with, is it has a pretty good mix of different types of abilities. We have our, a grass-based ability, Absorb. We have, I believe, a ghost-type ability, Astonish, and uh, and our Supersonic, which will allow us to potentially uh, confuse the opponent's Pokemon and make them deal damage to themselves. So I'm going to start off with that. Then we're going to switch over to our Starly to hopefully kick him in his teeth. I'm not going to bring the turret wig out just yet because our rival has the uh, fire based chimcha and that's, that's going to hurt our turret wig a lot. So we're going to try to keep him out of this battle and just win the day with the Starly if we can. I almost one shot at your Pokemon. You're telling me not to get cocky? Alright. We'll finish this bad boy off and then uh, move on to his his main Pokemon here. Yeah. There we go. Got a level for the Zubat. And one from our Starly. So we got 11 Starly, 10 Turtwig, and a 7 Zubat. Would definitely like to get some some more damaging attacks for our Zubat right now. Absorb doesn't do a crazy amount of damage unless you have type advantage. Uh, obviously supersonic. You're kind of rolling the dice hoping that you would be able to confuse the opponent's Pokemon and make them damage themselves. And so far I haven't been able to actually use Astonish, the ghost type ability. So I'm not sure what it actually does. There's our uh, first battle with our rival who, in pretty much every game, just never seems to live up to the, the moniker of a rival. I don't think I've ever been challenged by my rival in any game, not even in red and blue. Even though they kind of give them the advantage in every single game by giving them a type advantage against you, it just they never seem to materialize into a good rival. Warburg is where we are heading. I do not believe we'll take a look. Um, so on Route 203, we already got our Zubat. We have our Starly. The only other Pokemon you can get is a Cubone, but you can't get them until you get the National Pokedex on this route, and they're only available as a Swarm Pokemon. So I don't believe we really have anything on this route for us to grab. We're just going to try to get some much needed XP, fight as many trainers as we can. Fast forward through some of these trainer battles for you.
All right, we're getting our first TM, TM98, which should be Rock Smash. But we won't be able to use that until we get our first badge. So the nice thing about this is I guess a wild Pokemon comes and uses the, that hidden move for you so you don't have to waste one of your current Pokemon's ability slots. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, let's head on down to the mines and see if we can't find this gym leader. This ability right here, this mean look, if you're trying to catch the Abra, try to get yourself a Zubat first because the Abra has a tendency to teleport away before you can get it low enough to catch it. If you can hit it with a mean look right off the bat, it's not going to be able to flee and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to catch that Abra.
we I believe this is our gym trainer demonstrating that uh, hidden move we were talking about earlier, the rock smash. Should be able to go and take care of that tree. Let's see. The way is open before we head in. We're gonna go and uh, fill everybody up. Now we have our turret wig. We have our Starly, both at level 13. Our Zubat is, I believe, at level 11 still. It should still make things pretty easy for us. Now, if, you, if you're playing along with us and you had the turret wig, you're definitely going to want him out in the front. He's going to make a pretty quick work of anything this trainer can throw at you. If not, uh, you do have the option, I think, to get a couple of other interesting Pokemon that should take out this trainer relatively quickly. fight these trainers so that we can try to get a little bit more XP for our Zubat here. He's going to make quick work of any of the Geodudes that we see with his Absorb ability. And the nice thing is, the higher level Pokemon that you're facing, the more XP you get for the battles. So these level 10s should give us at least 100 if not over 100 XP. There we go, see 111 for your starting Pokemon. nice thing about the absorb for this too is that if, if he were tackling or doing any damage to us because absorb is a percentage based attack half the damage that uh, is taken by the tiger because we are uh, at a great type advantage against ground Pokemon and we're doing so much damage we're effectively gonna out heal any damage that he could possibly do to us which is great Once again, uh, with the mean look ability, I recommend that you pick up the Zubat so you can catch the Abra early on. It's a great Pokemon to have. It's especially great Pokemon to level up. And the only other option to get the Abra this early in the game is to trade for one by trading a Machop. But the Pokemon that you get in the trade, even though it will level up quicker because it was through a trade, it has... I believe it has a, a shy nature, which is garbage for Abra. So you're better off just catching your own, and the Zubat's going to make it real easy to catch the one that you want. Just hit it with the mean look, and it'll stop it from teleporting. Then you can just kind of whittle it down at your own pace and, and throw a ball at it. Alright, so we're done with the trainers. We're going right for the 
the gym leader. This is Rourke, the Orberg gym leader and his rock and ground type Pokemon. Prepare to get your teeth kicked in. Let's do it. So we're not even going to have to switch out to our turret wig. We should be able to take Geodude out right with our Zubat. So now that uh, Stealth Rock, I believe if we try to switch a Pokemon in, it's going to hurt us. Uh, the Pokemon that you're switching in right off the bat, so it's kind of like a minefield. There's one down and 145 XP, so that's not bad either. Onyx. Onyx should be weak to uh, absorb as well. I know it does. Uh, oh, yeah. there we go. All right, it does say it. When we were fighting uh, Wild Onyx earlier, it didn't say super effective, it just kind of left it the way it was, and then when we used it on him, it popped up that it was super effective. See, unfortunately, he's hitting us pretty hard, so we're gonna, we're gonna swap in the turret wing now. You see we did take some damage because of that uh, hidden uh, stones ability. And we are making sure work of this team. So if you did start off with a turret wig, feel free to just have him in the entire time. See, we, we actually leveled both our Stalin and our Dirt Wig up to 14. I'm pretty sure after we uh, take care of this next Pokemon, it should level up our Zubat as well. And then we will have the Gym Leader taken down. And be able to use our uh, Rock Smash ability, which would be great. There you have it, guys. So definitely go with uh, Turtwig uh, if you can. If you didn't pick Turtwig as your starter, go with, uh, I believe one of the grass Pokemon you can get is uh, Badu. It's another great one. Obviously, the Zubat had some type advantages, but that Onyx kind of had a super effective advantage against us as well, so it kind of put us in the danger zone a little bit. Oh, and what do we have here? Our Starly is evolving. Alright. And we have our Staravia. Wobbles over territory occur when the flocks collide. This is not a very people-friendly Pokemon, but it's still relatively big. It's still a two foot tall, 34 and a half pound bird. Ha, noob. Give me that badge, buddy. Go back to the coal mines. And there is our first badge, guys.
Ooh, and some TMs. TM76. Stealth Rock, which is that ability that uh, hurt us when we swapped in another Pokemon. So that's not a bad ability. And some stickers. Alright guys, and that is it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for stopping into the channel. Keep an eye out for our, our third in the series Let's Play. And as always guys, if you like what we're doing, if you have any comments or anything you'd like us to add to the stream, please let us know. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. It helps us pump out more content and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next Let's Play and, and continuing our attempt at beating the game with only drafted Pokemon. Once again, this has been Jim with Legion Wargaming and you guys have a wonderful day.